Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I'm coming on here real quick to do a video response for Shile 728's 48 Hours Flash Challenge for December dailies. And I'm so, so happy that I don't have a migraine today. <laughs> I'm so, so happy. Uh, it's been days now. Anyway, I wanted to come on real quick and share with you guys my uh, December daily page 9 and 10. Page 9 is just this cute little printable that I found online for free. And I matched up this little gingy with the gingy that's on this background paper just by adding these super cute little homemade enamel dots that were gifted to me by Bev, who's new crafter Bev. Thank you, sweetie. They were perfect for this little gingy. Just to add some little dimension, I added some fa la 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 washi tape that was... Um, something that I bought from a D stash from Susumu Nerdy Geek Crafter and I used just, just a simple little brad there so that you can twist this up and see my journaling for the day. I don't really like my handwriting so I like to cover it up or put it on the backs of things rather than having it visible all the time. So that's for day nine and then this is my actual entry into the flash challenge. So it's day 10 today and I have fallen in love with sewing again and I just sewed this little piece of scrap acetate that I had from some sticker packaging used another free printable and I'll put my journaling on this back of this card later at the end of the day today and then for my coloring portion I just colored up the sweet little tiddly inks puppy that was stamped out and give, gifted to me by Louisa Vivers, who is such a sweetheart. She's all the way in New Zealand, and she sent me a wonderful Christmas card yesterday, and she stamped out two of these little puppies, so I put one directly on the base, oops, the base paper, and then I colored up the top with some Copic markers and some Jelly Roll pens, and I will list my Copics in the description box below so you guys can check that out. But I tucked in this little puppy, I put him up on foam adhesive and I used the Stampin' Up ones that are slightly thinner because I wanted him to fit behind this little, I don't know if it's supposed to be a grassy knoll or a snowy knoll, I don't know, but I wanted him to be kind of in the same plane as the little snowman because I wanted it to look like the snowman was patting the little puppy's head or scratching his <laughs> head there. So that's my entry for the flash challenge. I hope you guys are having a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.